Today we're going to activate a 2011 HP touchpad, the short-lived webOS device that's still alive and kicking here at the end of 2020. If you reset a touchpad or you buy one off eBay that's been reset, you'll be prompted with a activation process that doesn't work since the servers are offline. But with a few tools, which I'll list in the description, and a couple quick steps, you can activate the device yourself and be up and running as if it were 2011 all over again. No matter what OS you're using, you're going to have to start with Java. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to get Java from Apple, and I'm going to run the installer. If you're on Windows or Linux, you'll need to get the installer from Oracle, and the install steps will obviously look a bit different, but uh, the result we're after is the same. We need Java installed on our computer. I'll let the installer run. No reboot is needed. Once the installer is done, I'm going to need to install the drivers for all webOS devices. I'm on the Mac, so I'm going to run the install package. You may get a security warning. I've done this a couple times, so I've uh, already allowed it through system preferences. If you get a security warning, just launch the security settings in system preferences and allow the app. Now that we're installed, plug the device in and run the device tool, which is listed in the description as well. And the device tool is going to tell you that the device isn't ready and it's going to give you instructions for a phone. They're a little different on a tablet, so I'll show you here. From this activation screen with the device on and plugged in, I'm going to hold the home button and the power button. I'm going to hold them down for 10 seconds without letting go. At the end of 10 seconds, the screen is going to go blank at which point I want to hold the volume up button. There's the volume up button. I'm going to keep holding it. I'll briefly see the HP logo and then a USB logo. That's a good sign. If you don't see the USB logo, repeat these steps until you get it right. And now we can run that same command again. And this time the output's going to be different because the software is interacting with the bootloader of the device. It's going to reboot and it's going to bypass the activation steps that would normally happen with HP servers. Once that's done, it's going to reboot the device again. This is going to take a long time. Uh, it's a good three to five minutes. Just be patient. When you see the glowing HP logo, that's a good sign you're on the right track. And a couple minutes later, you'll go to the launcher having bypassed activation. We can now install or sideload some apps. We're going to use one more tool called WebOS Quick Install. WebOS Quick Install is another Java app that can sideload apps onto the device. On a Mac, I can just double click the jar file and it will launch Java, which then launches the app. On Windows or Linux, I have to type a command into the command line to get it to launch, and I'll show you that as well. There's an icon launch. Let's quit. And I'll do Java jar webOS quick install. Either way, I'm launching the quick install tool. And I'm going to bring in some webOS apps that I want to install on my device. In this tutorial, I'll show the most important one, which is Preware. I'll get that from the WebOS archive. There's help that describes this, or I can go to the museum and I can download Preware, and I can download the museum itself. Both are app stores in which you can find apps uh, that you can install for your device. I'm going to use WebOS Quick Install and drop the Preware app on. And hit the Install button. Once that's done, I can swipe over on my launcher and I can see the new icon for Preware. Repeat these steps for the App Museum and you can install apps right on your device or you can continue to use WebOS Quick Install. For more tutorials, check out webosarchive.com.